We go now live to NBC 15's Morgan Wolf, who sat down with the school superintendent. They've been getting hourly updates. Leah checked in with the Minneapolis Police Department that says they aren't ruling out any avenues for this investigation. That includes they're looking into students, possibly district employees and the hotel. After the truck plowed through these trees, it dipped down into this hill, up in the air, and into that garage. We got stopped on the way here on Highway 60 in Richland Center. I'm going to show you why. Back here, they have one of their snow plows shoveling up the dirt that fell from a mudslide. More than 24 hours after this incident was first reported yesterday, I have seen Dane County deputies out going door to door in neighborhoods in Mount Horeb trying to talk to neighbors and figure out how a 26 year old man was found dead on County Road JG. Similar to planting in a garden, farmers need their soil to be dry and loose when planting their crops. We are live at the first day of the CrossFit Games. Coming up, we'll tell you about all the things you can experience. <laughs> the camera system installed at Pete's house sends him a notification to his phone anytime someone even approaches his door. People are definitely waiting for the nice weather here. If we can take a look yep. at all of the people here, it never ceases to amaze me the turnout for concerts on the square. They take strength and, of course, agility <laughs> to finish a ninja course. But the owners tell me that this training provides much more for kids. We start tonight with breaking news. Iran officials admit they unintentionally shot down a Ukrainian passenger plane. We just learned this within the last 15 minutes. 176 people died on that plane as it was shot down Tuesday night. The man who killed Jamie Kloss's parents kidnapped the 13-year-old and held her captive for almost three months will be sentenced today. We have some video tonight from our sister station WBAY as the storm hit the region. This doorbell footage is from Oshkosh showing a strong when roaring through, forcing a tree, boom, right there to fall on that pickup truck. So we have a lot of you chiming in right now. We have some people like Cindy Downs that is saying that they got snow in Dodgeville. That She says that they've had it since 5 o'clock. You no, know, we have a lot of them across southern Wisconsin. They say that the staff just adjusts their schedules and makes up that extra time. Now, here are some of the larger ones that we have across our area. Just crazy, you wacky can't stuff. Do that. No, That's so, so bizarre. I love Winnipeg, but tonight it disappoints. It's uh, lose a pig. Right. <laughs> Dad jokes. I'm so proud of you. Hanging out with you way too much. Yes. Says he is better now than ever before. Mm. Wow. Mm. Kind of resembled the little Bob Dylan there with the harmonica. Yeah, the, there you go. And uh, uh, tunes. I yep. love the way that Diane was singing along, knew all yeah. the words. Biggest, Biggest fan. fan. Yep. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and We spoke to emergency management officials just before the start of this newscast and learned that it's the berm that breached, not the dam, like what some media outlets are reporting. Now, behind me, you'll see that the water is flowing into this park here. This park is usually filled with people, but tonight it sits filled with water. When rain comes, we call it blessings from the Lord. We got a lot of blessings last night. <laughs> the Bellevue Community Park is filled with blessings from Lake Bellevue. Yeah. Something Jesus Chavez prays doesn't get any worse. I talked to a lot of the old timers and they've never seen anything like this. Bridges closed and games of hoops put on hold. Everything is covered up now with the river water. But Carrie Ohm says some are taking this as an opportunity to christen themselves. Oh, look at the duck. No, oh no. I think they are liking it a lot. <laughs> what is a blessing in some eyes? Duh. <laughs> could be a burden to others. But at the end of the day, people are just thankful no one was hurt. This is a lot of water. 55, Officers couldn't get to the front lines without dispatchers Middleton. taking the first call. Is she there for, like, did she work there? Or did she say? Danielle Kimball has been a calming voice. No, that's okay. Who provides quick judgment to get help where it's needed. Middleton Police Department. I've been doing it since I was 19, 20 years old. Everything is about timing. 
a second can mean the world of difference. The building is all locked up and with a couple of deputies. September 19th, 2018. Each second meant a difference as she had to send her officers to an active shooter inside an office building filled with people. Is it hard being in the community and knowing these officers and having to send them to oh, something like this? Absolutely. I think that was probably one of the hardest things I've ever done. But, I mean, I can't wrap them in bubble wrap and tell them not to go. <laughs> it's just, I kept thinking about little tidbits of each officer and what I know about them. You know, one officer had had a baby, one likes to show me Lego projects, an officer's about to retire. Yeah. So just little stuff kept kind of going through my head as I'm sending them out there to that. And then at the same time, I'm thinking about the people in that building and the amount of people that I'm asking, can you get out? And if they said, no, I have to tell them, you need to hide. Drop the gun now! The person behind the voice that comforts people in crisis found herself not knowing what to expect. Finding out that there was no casualties and that everybody was going to be okay. <laughs> I think... After I found that out for sure, I slept like a baby that night. I was so happy. A helping hand to the community and to the department. So I have the satisfaction of thinking, you know, I did it. I took care of my people. When they needed it most. Any other dispatcher here would have done it. That's some that take a lot of steps. Preserving memories for others something Chris Wells never thought he had time to do. My dad and I started doing clocks um, about 30 years ago, actually, so it's been for a while. What used to be time cut out to spend with his dad turned into a business. It keeps you, keeps you moving. The man with a history of building takes wood from structures he knows are running out of time. This is where it starts. Then crafts them into clocks glued up for a clock. Uh, we have them from Timeless Timber, the logs that were brought up off the bottom of Lake Michigan, St. Francis Church, clocks from Howard Hughes. I have clocks from Camp Randall Stadium. Each a clock a with a different ago. story. Going up to the attic to play basketball because they had rafters they had to shoot around. That made the Mineral Point kids tough to beat. When time expired for the General Motors plant, yeah, yeah. it was Chris's dad who got the gears moving for the GM clocks, something he never got to finish. His dad died from cancer last year, <laughs> making it important for Chris, though, to finish the project and for all of his friends. While I was in the Marines, I, I kind of knew all my friends were working at GM. So we kind of, I don't know, thought we were doing our job out there also so they could do theirs. As time moves on, Chris is happy to give a chunk of his back to others. I think I got enough wood for 2,500 clocks. And it sounds like a lot, but that would be one year worth of employees at GM. And there was 90 years there. In Janesville, Morgan Wolf. NBC 15 News. I want to know, what do you think Valentine's Day is about? It's about love. Do you think you know a lot about love at six? Mm hmm Who do you love? My brother. I love my best friends and my teachers. I'm my mom. Why do you love your mom? Because she does whatever I want. She lets me stay up at nap time. I wish I still had a nap time. What do you think love is? Hi. I'm where you give hugs and kisses. Uh, love is something that you really just want to give them like a hug or something, but you also want to give them something for Valentine's. To come to the experts to find out what love really is. How long have you been married for? We've been married 68 years. Be kind to each other and loving and do things together and 
enjoy your your life together. Remember to say, I'm sorry, dear. It won't happen again, dear. I'm sorry, dear. Oh, my.